Hi, my name is Anamika Hops, and this is The Art Friend Show, where every conversation focuses on getting to know the essence of creativity itself. I'd love to invite you as well to join me inside of Art Friends School, where we go deeper into these topics and join in with other art friends around the world. Thanks so much for joining us, and let's get to the show. My name is Anna Mika, or Mika. I'm an artist here in Portland, Oregon, and this is 100 Days of Art Friend Interviews. Today, my special guest is painter Brittany Susie from New Hampshire, and I'll be inviting her in to join us for an interview in a moment. I'm so excited to be having these conversations. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you're watching it in the moment, feel free to comment and we'll respond to you as we can. If you're watching it in the future, please comment below with something you learned or would like to know more about. Share it to your stories. Get this project out there. All right. Yay. All right, and so if you're interested in an interview as well, let me know. Okay, hi, Brittany. Hi. Welcome. Hi. Thank you. Yay. So first of all, will you please just introduce yourselves to us? Tell us, you know, where you live, a little tiny nutshell of your personal life, and then we'll go into your art. Sure. sure. Um, I live on the East Coast. I live on the seacoast of New Hampshire, just about an hour north of Boston. And I've always, um, like from the time I was tiny, I knew I wanted to be an artist. And I've kind of come in and out of it, depending on my circumstances. And I have five kids and am married and we're all at different phases. My youngest are twins and they're 14. And um, so it's kind of my little family life. I work out of my studio here. It's on my property. Um, it's like an old barn converted into a studio. So, so amazing. <laughs> oh my gosh. I've watched you and your art grow and grow and grow over the years since we've met. And your life feels, I'm sure there's many layers, but it, 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 it is, it's so beautiful. I mean, it's just, there's, there's poetry to the way that you live and express and Thank talk about your- Thank you so much. I yeah. love that. That's, I feel like we get to like kind of curate our lives, you know? And yeah. if we get to be artists, we might as well make life into something beautiful. So. Yeah. Yes. So, the whole thing, top to bottom, inside yeah. and out. If we can, <laughs> right? You know, you can't curate yeah. everything. There's some, you know, yeah. oh, not all art has ugly faces too so it's okay if it's not all perfect yeah <laughs> yeah so let's see um let's let's actually give them the nutshell of how we met and how relevant yeah. it is to be doing your first instagram live together do you want to just yeah. tell them how we met sure we were trying to figure out when it was but i don't really remember but it was years ago and we both joined like some uh, it was like a video challenge do you remember what it was called or anything it was called the lighted up video challenge it was with okay. this incredible woman neem arthur and we basically over the course of like 30 days mm -hmm. made a video every day yeah. hmm, sounds familiar <laughs> and yeah. it was so it was pretty life-changing i think for both of us because i yeah. think that's when i went from being like way too embarrassed to show up on on video to being able to like teach online as for a living uh, so it was a transformative process of learning one little tiny technique about how to show up on camera um it's so day true. after day after day because it was yeah. kind of the beginning of that like are we going to show our faces on here? Are we going to show up as the artist behind the art? Yeah. And like this whole new world of YouTube and, you know, I don't know. Yeah. It was, it was yeah. really for me because it was a real big challenge because I'm such an introvert. I do not like to be the center of attention and to like make a video of myself and then have to look at myself on the video was like really difficult 
difficult to overcome. And by the yeah. end of that challenge, it's like, oh, no big deal. <laughs> you mm -hmm. know, I even with yeah. Marco Polo, some of my friends right. yeah. were like, I can't get into Marco Polo because I can't get over looking at myself talking. And I'm like, oh, I know how that happened for me. Yeah. You know, and it's kind of like, this is just how it is. This is how my face looks when I talk and that's okay. Yeah. <laughs> right. Like realizing I never knew half of my face opens up much wider than the other. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. But it's like, you get, I think what happened for me in that practice is that I realized that it's not any different really than like just being in the room with people. And if people are able to tolerate us talking to them in real life, it's the same as video. And the paradox is, it's really not about us. It's as much as it is like what we're sharing or, or what we're yeah. sparking for the people who are listening, like very meta yeah. right now, as you're listening to this, I dare yeah. you to show up on video because no one will eat you and it will be fine. <laughs> If you want to come on. Yeah. So, but True. this is your first Instagram live. So welcome to your new level of Thank you. <laughs> an introvert and an artist. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. It is. It's one of those things because I really do prize, like we we're talking about living in the moment and not having it too like buttoned up and like planned out ahead of time. Yeah. Like I work best on the fly anyway, you know, mm -hmm. so it's just kind of get over that hump and yeah yeah present you know in the totally let's circle back to that i want us I, I want people to see your art and then oh. maybe we can circle back okay. to the rabbit and the hair conversation a little bit um yeah sure you have birds you have abstracts you have israel you show us can we yeah, have, yeah, yeah. can we do some of your work let's see if i can figure out how to do this i i can kind of give you a little art or a studio tour can you see the um, Flip a camera around um, oh, there, I did. arrows. There you okay. go. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's really crowded in here right now with art. Oh, oh <laughs> but it's so, I, so I'll kind of do a little. So I went to Israel in September, and I've been kind of plugging away. They have bougainvillea all over the place there, and here's like an olive tree, you know. Oh, so I've been plugging away at all this art. There's yeah. the Dead Sea. I swam in the Dead Sea, you guys. It was like the coolest thing. So anyway, I'm going to release. I have other ones over here that are different layers um, of yeah. being done. Wow. But I'm planning on re releasing those on, on Holy Week. And then um, some of these other ones, um, probably in a week and a half, I have a whole bird series. Uh -huh. Huh? Here's an owl that I'm going to be releasing. Dude, I love um, your work. Thank you. Ooh. Look at that hawk. Ooh. Yeah. And you some of them, then there's the like light. these little guys. The light. Oh, thank you. Everything. And yes. And there's you a can't sunbeam. Tell the sun's shining there. But, <laughs> but, you know, like I love abstracts because it's one of those things that, um, yeah. It can be anything to you, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. So like that one is a really large abstract. I don't know if you can tell how big it is, but yeah. um, that one I'm, I'm calling Seeking Answers. Mm -hmm. And then this one is Finding Truths. And I'll go a little closer. So, you know, there's always like an aspect of, I like how art can kind of, meet you where you're at yeah you know like we can have a conversation that's like oh i love hawks and it can end mm -hmm. there <laughs> <laughs> yeah your art can be saying like when they say i i think this is i think this is what you're saying let me know if i'm missing mm -hmm. missing the mark but i talk a lot with artists about like you know claiming their style and making their work and you know sometimes our art can be saying something like I'm overcoming despair and I'm offering hope to the world. And sometimes our art can be saying, I like flowers. Right. Yeah. <laughs> and that's all. And that it really is. can be <laughs> saying all, the whole spectrum all at the same time. Yeah. And the cool thing about art is, is like you're connecting with people and you connect wherever they're ready to connect. Yes. You know, as a part of being an introvert is like, at least for me, is kind of seeing where people's energy is and I can kind of read it. And usually 
I can tell how deep they want to go. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yes. And it's kind of like one of those sweet little blessings of how, how much do I want to connect with this person? How much, like how deep we're going to go together. And it can just be like, wow, that was a really good 30 seconds. And that impacted my day. Or like that conversation is going to stay with me for years, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I, cool. I really do love it. So I have a question for you. When you're talking about launching these collections, you're like, okay, next week I'm going to launch the birds and then on Holy Week I'm going to launch the Israel collection. How do you, how do you do your launches right now? What, what's working? What are you thinking about doing? Well, I just decide. It's kind of like how you just decided to do this. <laughs> um, I kind of burnt myself out a little bit and was like, I just need to be quiet. Yeah. And then all of a sudden I was like, okay, I feel like I'm ready to come out of it. And so I just looked at my calendar. I said, what do I have? What do I have ready to be released out into the world? And I had to be a little bit logical about the Israel one because I could hold on to it for years, you know? Mm. And it's very different than other art because there is an aspect of relig religiousness, I guess. Mm -hmm. And usually I keep everything, like I have a, a really strong faith and it's really personal to me and I'm always happy to talk about it, yeah. but not everybody is ready to go there, you know? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so there's a part of me that wants to keep the Israel stuff all personal and private because it's so mm -hmm. meaningful to me. Yeah. But there's so many people who, who are happy to go there. And I was like, you know, it would be smart to do it if I'm releasing something about Jesus Christ to do it around Easter, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know? So there was that aspect of that. And then, yeah. but yeah, it's like, um, okay, okay, let's look at the calendar. When do I release something? And then I just put it out there. I start saying it out loud to myself and I put it into oh. my calendar mm -hmm. and then I start, I mention it on Instagram and then I mention it in an email, mm -hmm. you know, and then, um, mm -hmm. and then I kind of work backwards. Like I think, um, the bird one I'll probably do on the 15th and I'll mm -hmm. give myself a good week to get pictures and, um, start putting it on my website all the tech stuff. Yeah. It's not fun for me. I, my least favorite mm -hmm. part. Right. But, yeah. You know, but, you know, price it, take pictures, post it all, take, do a description. Sometimes the writing about it is really fun. Mm -hmm. And sometimes it's mm -hmm. so. Yeah. Yeah. Is that Amazing. Is your question? Yeah, it does. It totally does. I love hearing how people do launches. And, you know, I'm, I'm increasingly working with my strengths and the way that I work. Um, you know, it, it, there's there's other types of brains and other types of, you know, business owners and, and, and artists who can be like, okay, I'm going to plan out my launches from here to two years from now. And they're going to happen like this and da, da, da. And yeah. I have to have like, I have to have a lot of alignment with the timing and my own cycles of energy. And, um, yeah, yeah. For sure. it's, it's nice to hear, you know, as business owners and creators, how we work with that and um mm -hmm. yeah there's always an element of um you know having to show up and make product descriptions and do parts of it that yeah. need, you know yeah and like part of having a business is doing stuff that you love and also doing stuff that you don't love right like you still yeah. have to show up and you have to work through it yeah and that makes the other part like available to us yeah like would i like to just sit here in my studio and paint Yes, but <laughs> yeah. I have two other things in yeah. order to make it work. I would <laughs> say though, I gave myself permission. I started um, painting every day on January 1st this year and mm -hmm. you know, doing that for 50 days gave me the confidence to do this for a hundred days now going wow. up. And yeah. I gave myself permission to do the quick and dirty version even with those paintings. I just put, I put payment links right in in my newsletter, I didn't create product listings. I still haven't taken nice yeah. photos of them. They're not on my Instagram. Yeah. But I sold that one and that one over there oh. and that one. 
So <laughs> I'm like, maybe I don't yeah. have to create product listings right now. Exactly. I just have to make sure. Like, that to me sure. feels like the last resort, you know? It's yeah. like, what do I have to do? The best yeah, is when like, it gets well, sold before selling, anybody like, even. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah. fine. Yeah. You know, I'll just get it's on like, with myself. Like, how yeah. much are you learning? You know, you're learning what is possible. You're yeah. learning what you're good at and what needs work and like yeah. you're learning how to sell quickly and like how to okay. then go circle back and sell the ones that didn't sell like right there's so many ways to just run a business there's so i just met with a woman who's gonna do the my visual artist accelerator where i help people like make like finally finally realize their dream of like becoming the artist that they dreamt of, and like make a body of work and launch it and there's yeah. there's all these questions of like Oh, but, but I also want, by the end of the program, I'm going to have a body of work and launch it. But I, am I also going to have a website and a business name and a business card and a da da da? I'm like, you don't need it. You're like, you can yeah. just start making work as yeah. long as you're making work and sharing it with your people. Yeah. That's where it's all born from. You can get super slick about your Instagram strategy or your website mm -hmm. SEO, and that's smart to do. And, you know, mm -hmm. you and I have evolved a lot as businesses. Um, as well but it's like all you really need to be is making your work and sharing it and then yeah. it's your business bring it as a good or a service it's okay got me all fired up here oh my gosh <laughs> I know Woo! and that stuff doesn't have to happen all at once it's like no and it can't it's not a time limit yeah you can be like yeah I'm gonna have a website it might be in five years but I'll have a website yeah <laughs> there's no rule I I know people who have beautiful, curated, gorgeous websites, and mm -hmm. I know people and you know, they're running successful businesses. I know people with gorgeous websites that are more like, because they wanted to create that, but they don't have as much of a business engine. I also know mm -hmm. people with really successful businesses that just send out Google Docs. Like, you know, like yeah. it really depends. So, huh. yeah. So anyway, back to your art, my dear. So what? <laughs> What's coming up in your work? What are the what are some of the themes that you're exploring and eager to explore more of? Um, you know, I just kind of go with what, like right now with the birds. I just spring is here in New England, <laughs> and they just keep showing up and I'm like, I just love birds, you know? And then most likely when the plants start to arrive and the flowers start to arrive, I'll probably paint flowers and just whatever's going on. Seriously. I really, yeah. you know what? I, I tend to go toward nature. Um, and a lot of times if I add abstracts in there, usually that's how I process things when I'm doing abstracts. Um, it's it's almost like a meditative thing for me mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. um, yeah. instead of like a, like a painting that is something you recognize in nature is more like a puzzle you know yeah. and yes. an abstract for me is um, more like okay I just need to it really is feels like a meditation mm. so yeah. I don't know Whatever feels good, I guess that's my answer. That's what you're going to be making next. Whatever you notice, whatever you feel, and that feel good. And if you need a meditation, you'll make an abstract. Yeah. Oh, I love that. I feel like there's so many times where I'm just like, ditto, when you're talking. <laughs> um, yeah. Oh, it's so nice to reconnect with you, too. It's cool to meet, you know, years ago and then watch each other grow and then Thank you so much for coming on the Art Fun yeah. Show. <laughs> I'm so happy to have been here, yeah. Yeah, cool. Well, um, anything else you want to share with people or invite them along in? Like, what do you tend to love sharing with people in your, like right here on Instagram, for example? Um, <laughs> that is a good question, Anamika. <laughs> Is it? Right now, I've, I'm like trying to get out of my shell again. Yeah. I've just been like, you know, I just need to um, stop rebelling against the algorithm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and just How so? Fun. Yeah. I guess um, 
it's almost like I feel a little bit bossed around, like, this is the rules and this is what you have to do in order to get yeah. anywhere. And I'm like, no, I refuse to follow your game. I'm just going to do what mm -hmm. I want to do. Yeah. But um, I don't know. Like, I just show up because it it feels right, not because I'm supposed to, you know? Yeah. And I, I love it when people show up with me and I love mm. like seeing um authenticity here like sometimes I get a little bit tired of you know you know yeah <laughs> sure. we're all kind I, of tired of probably I feel like <laughs> I'm this project which is just barely over a week old is changing my experience of Instagram in such a positive way. Cause I'm like, oh yeah, I'm one of the yeah the peeps. We all are here. Like yeah, in our, it's it's making it feel so much more meaningful and real. Yeah, and I know, I know, I could go do some more photo shoots and put up some more right. beautiful curated images and look more traditionally professional and maybe I could even do a year where I try to grow. You know, I've been hanging out at like 4,000 followers for a bunch of a while. I don't know. I haven't been strategizing on how to blow up on here. And right. I think that it's because the intimacy matters more to me working with yeah. people on the platform at, but you know, exactly. Yeah. It would also be super fun to have a giant audience. Yeah. But it has to feel good. Like it would be, it would be fun to me if we both grow, but we can still feel this real. Yeah, with, I agree. With that. I agree. Because right. that's, that's the thing that I crave is the, the realness, you know, like the wholeness, the person and not like some facade, you know? Yeah. 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 Well, let's keep talking about it and, yeah. and co-create it. Because I, I yeah. also like beauty. I enjoy looking at Absolutely. Beauty. You know, yeah. I look at and I'm like, oh, come on, you could put some more pretty in there. You know? oh, but it's like, it's, it's perfect. You're perfect the way you are. I love oh, you. I love you too. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I'm glad we got that out there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, cool. cool. It's good to hear that you kind of feel that way too. Because I've gone through things. I went through such a, I'm going to just, you know, give up social media altogether. I unfollowed every single account for a while. Did I, you? Followed, oh, wow. yeah, I followed zero when I was really finding my own voice again. Mm -hmm. And I'm kind of recovering from that in like hundreds of awkward conversations now. Where I'm like, oh, hi, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm not following you, but that's what happens. <laughs> yeah. You know, it, yeah. like, not aligned we have to kind of take the rules into our own hands and I have really dear yeah. friends who quit social media altogether me too and they're very successful yeah. yeah so it's like we don't have to be here and we don't have to do it the same way everyone you know tells us to do it. yeah 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 I like that mm -hmm. thanks for sharing that I didn't realize you had done that I can see how, yeah. and, and you know what? It also gives permission for other people to step back and it gives permission for us to have those awkward conversations where it's like, you know what? I touch base on Instagram or whatever social media, yeah. but I need you to tell me face to face, how are you? What's actually happening, you know? Yeah, exactly. And it may, um, you may get fewer of, of the frequent little updates that you get the real, real. The thing yeah. I found, yeah that um you know it was like a half a year or so of following zero accounts is when i would think of someone i could just go to their profile and mm -hmm. see things but i i would miss people's stories but mm -hmm. it helped to kind of retrain my brain instead of scrolling to just be more of a creator on here yeah you know that's a big deal mm -hmm. yeah ultimately i just decided not to do it anymore because i do like the spirit of um you know, you know yeah like yeah participating in each other's you're journey like, um, you're like a gatherer you're like a um a community builder naturally yeah yeah i've struggled with that over the years that's what i'm trying to do here with art friend is is allow that yeah. natural innate lifelong ability that like i'm typically the hub of a community yeah. um allow that to be expressed and then i, I I'm 
I'm, a, I'm like calling in all the support to try to do it in a way where I'm not worried yeah. about people pleasing. Like, and yeah. you know, and when I go through my cycle, you know, every month I'll go through a cycle of like getting overwhelmed and like needing a lot more space. So we'll see how that goes a few times. In this yeah. Um, yeah. Um, yeah. I'd love if like, if this feels kind of like this, like if you were here in my neighborhood, like there's, yeah, there's such a community. I want that. I want that vibe for you when you get on Instagram to be like, Oh, these are my actual people. Like I can't wait to yeah. show share with them. Cause it's a trusting, like, awesome place yeah can can we create that i don't know yeah i th think you are i think you're doing a good job well well thanks honey and um <laughs> yeah thanks for coming on here and um you know doing your first instagram live and letting people <laughs> see you <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah um Okay, well, let's go ahead and wrap up and we'll check back in in the Zoom room after I close okay. here. But y'all, if you're watching this, go follow Brit. She is just such an incredibly gifted painter and as you can tell, loving human being. And if you're able to collect her art, it sounds like there's gonna be birds coming out and abstracts and Israel and whatever strikes you in the moment, you'll be creating it, so cool. <laughs> Okay. Thank Mwah. you so much. Yeah. Okay. Bye. Bye. I'd love to have you inside of Art Friends School, where we go deeper into these topics. Follow the link that's in the show notes or find it on my website at onamika.com.